Hi guys, welcome to the channel and kaboom! Yes guys, welcome to my Made Simple Attack Strategy series. This is where we find some of the best attack strategies and we make them simple. We break them down and we make them easy to use. And today we've got a beautiful one for you guys. It's got yetis, witches, jump spells, it's got everything. So here it is, it's not called E-Drag Bats. No, we're going to have to rename it. Let's delete that out of there. What are we going to call it guys? We're going to call it Yee Wee. Yee Wee. G no, that's wrong. Yeah, ye we jump! Exclamation mark times three because it's so awesome. So let's meet the troops, guys. We're gonna have five healers, two wizards, five yetis, three witches, nine bowlers, one baby dragon, two balloons, and one minion called Mike. Guys, if Mike is on the battlefield, you're in with a really good chance of getting three stars. Trust me, Mike is awesome your spells are going to be two jump spells two rage spells one poison and two freeze spells donated clan castle troops will be two yetis one valken a barbarian by the name of bob your donated clan castle spell will be a rage spell to sprinkle on top and your siege machine will usually be some siege barracks although from time to time you will use a wall wrecker so guys there's the army there's the spells let's go watch some awesome replays and see it in action let's go so here's our first replay then guys, we've got four awesome replays for you today showing you how to use this beautiful attack strategy so do stick around and watch them all so you get a full understanding of how to use it. So anyway, the first stage of any successful attack is of course the funnel guys, yes, using your Grand Warden and five healers, it's such a great way to start one side of your funnel you get so much value out of the grand warden if he runs into difficulty use a rage spell to rage up those healers or the grand warden you've got the free spell as well don't be afraid of using a grand warden walk so that's one side of our funnel he's going to run into the enemy king in a moment but it doesn't matter he'll be all right the other side of the funnel top left hand corner is a yeti and the siege barracks and now it's just about being patient our plan is to attack the town hall directly put a jump spell around it put the rest of the troops in there and then use the other jump spell to get into the base so there's the jump spell on the expo and it's just about being patient now so out come the cc troops some nasty balloons let's poison them there we go we've put i put my queen down just to take out those balloons because you know they can be really horrible baby dragon on the right to make sure the grand warden keeps going left he's still attacking the king there we go the king has been taken out and now we need the grand warden to go left gary gary the grand warden go left thank you there we go. So the funnel has been completed. It was a bit of a difficult funnel to make there. It took took a while. And now there we are. Rage spell to help them into the base. Jump spell there as well. Get in the base, guys. And the queen has taken out the town. All oh, this is looking okay now. Grand Warden ability used. We've put the other jump spell down there just by the Eagle Artillery. And now you can't really do much else apart from the most important stage of the attack, guys, is the royal champion look ahead and put her in there she is over on the right hand side so she can clear those structures and the royal champion i always say it in my attack strategy videos the royal champion is the key between two stars and three stars guys now are we going to get three stars today i'm not going to tell you we certainly are in some of our videos will we get three stars in all of our videos so we're going to put that wizard down there to help clean up and of course guys there is mike the minion if mike the minion is on the battlefield you should easily get three stars he's just clearing that corner there mike's directing the battle he's in charge we're going to freeze that nasty multi inferno balloons going in as well they're just helping out and this is looking okay our royal champion's been uh, sort of uh, distracted there and we're, oh, guys the time's running out we've got 13 12 no, we're okay. We've got loads of troops left. Royal Champion, eight seconds. Nothing left now. That wizard's helping out. Mike the Minion's there. Never in doubt. Look, there we go. No, guys. Guys, you asked me. You said, Samu, show me some of the replays where it doesn't go to plan. And you know what happened there, guys? I invested too much time with the Grand Warden Walk. And we ran out of time. Literally, it was about half a second. One spear throw or Mike the Minion, just one more, whatever he does with those things. That's all it would have taken. So what's going on here? Sorry. So that's not a good start to your Grand Warden Walk. The, the enemy Royal Champion was taking out my healers. It's okay, though. We put a Rage Spell down. There we go. I said earlier, didn't I? A Rage Spell on the Grand Warden if he runs into trouble and he becomes super powerful. So that's one side of our funnel there. Didn't go to plan straight away. Uh, so... 
there's a beautiful jump spell look where it's landed there we go just think about where you want to put your jump spell down that's where i want my troops to enter we're going to try and clear the other side of the funnel not yet complete we need that cannon gone get rid of that cannon baby dragon thank you so this is looking okay siege barracks down there rest of the troops get that queen to clear the builder there we go the funnel has been set and now the troops enter the base please jump in there we go rage spell down just to speed them up they're being a bit casual now and remember we've got another jump spell left we've got all the hero abilities royal champion i still haven't placed her down there she is on the left hand side i know that grand warden's gonna uh, his defensive ability really hurts any other heroes but it doesn't matter we need to take him out and i've made a bit of a mistake here guys i put the royal champion i haven't looked ahead i've put her yeah, the enemy queen. So this is sort of drastic measures here. I've poisoned the enemy queen and frozen her to save the royal champion. I don't know if it was probably, to be honest, guys, it wasn't worth it because she perished anyway. But yeah, look ahead with your royal champion. Avoid single target infernos. Avoid enemy heroes. Of course, guys, remember, in the new update, I believe, the lightning spell is going to be able to reset single target infernos. That's going to be really really interesting and by the way guys if you are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed do hit that subscribe button gonna have loads of awesome attack strategies for you so what's going on now we haven't really got too many troops left i'm a bit worried here i'm a bit worried no we're going to be okay we can't get 99 percent again can we guys surely and let's have a look at that multi inferno i've got a bad feeling about him just keep your eye on that multi inferno guys he's causing havoc infernoing everything the queen over there on the right he's, she's going to take out the enemy king i think we've uh, lost her off screen i don't know what uh the grand warden's doing gary the grand warden go back and take out that multi inferno please oh dear i've got a bad feeling what's going on here guys 99 percent and uh, hello the the last percent is there yes okay the grand warden has turned around now uh, Mike the Minion is taking on the King single-handedly. That's how tough Mike is. He's taking out a level 70 King. And uh, everybody's ignoring. If we don't need the three stars. It's all right. Forget about it. We, I don't want them. No, it's fine. Finally. Finally, guys, we're taking out the multi-inferno. How close was that? I could not have taken another 99% to star. Oh, no. Yes, guys, there we go another night it's a video of 99 percent two stars no it isn't surely surely this has to be three stars doesn't it? it's a beautiful base this a beautiful base so again the grand warden on one side you don't have to use a grand warden walk if you don't want to guys you can use uh, the king a couple of yetis but uh there always seems to be a side you can use the grand warden on so there we go grand warden on one side yeti and a couple of wizards on the other this is looking okay. All right, so what are we going to do next? We've got those jump spells. We don't really need to jump over that bit of wall there. We can go around it because we've funneled quite well. So there we go. I haven't put the jump spell down yet. I'm just thinking. Or have I forgotten? I don't know. There we go. Jump spell going straight over the town hall, taking out those two wall segments. Tesla farm there. doesn't matter. Let's just walk over that Tesla farm, jump through the town hall, out come the enemy CC troops. There we go. Town hall down. Grand Warden ability used jump through the base guys you've let me down the troops not you guys watching uh guys the troops they've let me down two ninety nine percent in a row come on get the job done now i want three stars so royal champion over there on the right push through the base second jump spell down we've got a freeze or rage we've got mike the minion i've just had words with mike the minion i've said mike you've never let me down before we've never had a vi well we might have had a couple of videos but we don't normally have videos where we don't get three stars so mike I'm talking to you right now. There he is. Get the job done, please. We need three stars. We need three stars. This is looking okay. This is looking okay. We've got a couple of healers on there looking after the queen. A couple of single target infernos. One of them oh, has been taken out. Guys, we've got loads of troops left. We've got Mike the minion on the right hand side. We've got one minute and five seconds. Surely we're being okay. But that inferno tower there is taking out a lot of my troops. Uh, I've seen that Inferno Tower before. I do believe his name is Nigel. Nigel the Inferno Tower. Can you cost me three stars again? Not again, guys. I can't deal with another 99% two star. But look, there's an Inferno Tower left. Again, Mike the Minion's got that uh, elixir storage over there. And yeah, we got loads of troops. Look, 
Surely that single so surely Nigel can't stop us. Not now. Twenty eight seconds, guys. What do you think? This is getting close. This is getting really close. Now get that inferno town. I've just texted the Queen and said, Queen, please can you do it for me? Mike has been Oh Mike got infernoed. No, the Royal Champion has been infernoed. Everybody's been infernoed. Go on, Gary. No, he's been infernoed. This is going to be close. The boulder just brushing past it. Nigel the Inferno is taking out my whole army. Giant bomb. But no. No. Look at that Yeti Mike in the middle there. Looked uh, quite content. There we go. Three stars. Finally. And on to the next replay. Let's have a look. Um, yeah. It's sort of a modified Town Hall 12 base. And people do struggle against this base. But not Sir Moose. Or maybe I do. Maybe we're going to get another 99%. So yeah. This is a bit of a tricky one. But uh, the... Inferno's on little the Inferno, sorry guys, are on multi target, so we can use the Grand Warden. If we're if we're sort of careful with it, we can get the Grand Warden to take out the multi inferno and maybe even the scatter shot, or maybe neither. If it goes if he goes uh, after the Royal Champion now, which I think he's gonna do. Oh no, Grand Warden, what are you doing? I wanted you to take out the multi inferno. So that's one side of our funnel. The other side we dropped a couple of balloons down and the baby dragon. So to be honest, guys, this really isn't going to plan this attack. I wanted to take out the multi inferno and the scatter shot, and the royal champion has just heard me, and now he's trying to take out that scatter shot. So we put a rage spell down on him to help him out. There we go, brilliant. So I'm put a jump spell down there in that compartment because I want to take out the other multi inferno and scatter shot. So we're not going to deploy the rest of the troops really until that multi inferno is out of the way. Next shot, there we go, boom. The rest of the troops in. Queen, king. Siege Barracks. Look at that beautiful waterfall in the top right-hand corner, by the way, guys. There we go. So, is anybody going to be brave enough to go into that compartment and take out the scatter shot? Yes, a couple of yetis. Brilliant. There we go, guys. Another jump spell going into the town hall area. We've got a rage spell left. Not going to use it yet. This is looking okay. We put the Royal Champion on the right-hand side to help clean that area there. And now they're into the central compartment. And yeah, Lava Hound there. Doesn't matter. We're okay. Let's push through the base. Royal Champion is doing a great job there over on the right. A couple of Yetis coming out of the Siege Barracks to join the uh, action. This is looking okay. Uh, that Lava Hound is about to explode. And I've used the Poison Spell early. What a mistake to make. Of course, if there's a Lava Hound in the enemy CC, try and keep holding your Poison Spell until later. Royal Champion's pushing through. Guys, this is going to be close. And oh no, it's Nigel the Inferno Tower again. There he is. Top left, waiting. And guys, I normally put a secret code word in my videos and I ask you to go over to the video comments and put that secret code word there. And I'll reply to each and every one of you that does. And today's secret code word is Nigel the Inferno Tower. Look at him, quite content, infernoing my troops. How nasty is that? But surely we've got enough troops to finish the job here. We've got the Queen, we've got the Grand Warden, we've got the King, we've got loads of Yetis. Um, Mike the Minion, there he is flying over to the right. Come on, Mike, join the... Where's he off? Mike... Well, you get old oh, builder hut. Okay, that's all right, Mike. That's okay. So, uh, Mike, for the three stars, go on, Mike. Kaboom! Yes, guys, thank you, thank you very much. I'd like to thank Mike the Minion. I'd like to thank my man. No, I'm not doing an Oscar speech. I'm only joking. Hope you enjoyed the video today. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Welcome to the Samus Army. We're nearly at 50,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for your support, guys. This is Samus signing out. I will catch you later.